All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today and next week, you know, so this Wednesday, Monday, and the next Wednesday, we're going to be looking at the Wind Witches. Yeah, the new cards have been kind of dry lately. It seems like the, the river of new cards and new support that Konami has been showing us as of late has kind of been drying up. So I guess this is a fine time to, you know, go back and address cards and talk about cards that I kind of skipped over. So I think the Wind Witches are definitely deserve worthy of talking, especially with what they do with Speedroids and the Crystal Map. But we'll get to that. So starting it off, we're going to go ahead and look at Wind Witch Ice Spell. So if you're wondering like, what, what are Wind Witches, um... It's archetype in the anime that Rin plays, and you're like, who the hell is Rin? All right, so you know how uh, you have Yuya and Yuzu, or Zuzu, you know, that kind of part? Well, pretty much, it seems like every dimension has a character who has the face of Yuya and then the face of Yuzu, or Zuzu, as her English dub name is. I don't know why. So if we go down to the synchro dimension, you have Yugo, who is my favorite of all the characters. I, I love Yugo. And then you have, you know, uses female counterpart Rin. So he plays speed uh speed rides, she plays wind witches. And it just happens to be that these two decks have some synergy to pull off some very powerful plays together combined. So uh I'm not sure if uh wind witches are too great on their own. Right now they only have three cards, so uh, I mean, we're going to look at all three cards, but on their own, I don't think they're a great, but when you combine them with speedroids, you, you get a powerful play, but we'll get to that eventually. So, like I said, let's start it off. We're going to look at Wind Witch Ice Spell. So, I mean, she just looks like a generic fairy girl. You know, she looks like she's riding some kind of broom or something, and she looks like a generic spellcaster girl. Nothing to say about that. she got, like, her different hair colors and highlights, so it definitely looks like she's from the uh, from the Synchro Dimension. It seems like a aspect from the Synchro Dimension TV show is just having uh, various uh, highlights in your hair. So, uh, actually, I looked at the, the card. You know, you just jump right in the card. You don't even look at the card there. I looked at the card art. Uh, so, she is a Wind Spellcaster Effect Monster Level 3. All right. Uh, 1,000 attack, 1,000 defense. Stats are fine. All right, let's look at this effect. So, if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you can special summon one Wind Witch monster from your deck. Uh, Y'all don't learn. Y'all don't fucking learn. Like, Terra Top is borderline hittable. Like, they're, they're like, like, especially since it doesn't seem like Konami wants to hit Dante. He's borderline hit a terror top because the, the whole terror top search special summon terror top which doesn't catch your normal summon and when he's special summon he gets to search talk to or special summon talk to board XC into Dante I mean come on come on the, the play's ridiculous you just busted out of Dante without even conducting your normal summon like obviously burning abyss slash PK fire is not dead like this last list in September slash end of August didn't do sh really shit to end burning abyss or PK fire so you're going to be seeing that shit and whether it be PK fire or pure burning abyss you will see the speed red engine in that shit because it's just so fucking good it's just so convenient just be like the special summon oh I get the special summon and I get the search you're pretty much doing it again with this monster and once again it's a level 3 monster if you control the monsters special summon this card from your hand and instead of getting the search of the you know the one which monster no you get to summon it to your damn field like all right all right so she's clearly the terror top archetype and it doesn't even say that you can't even summon her so you could literally just special summon her her will special summon another one of her and uh possibly go into a rank 3 play unless they put some restrictions on her i mean terrace top's like well you can only go into you know like a wind synchro monster play but it didn't say i think he said no if you use if you use terror top uh talk about the fact to tribute to some tuner but you don't do that you just special some terror top special some talk to mark i'm not using the effect so i have no restrictions bam there's a dante so maybe this card will have some restrictions maybe the konami will learn i don't know so Special summon it, you control no monsters, and then you get to go ahead and summon a Wind Witch monster from your deck. Wow, that's powerful. Uh, monster special summon by this effect cannot be attributed. Okay, so I guess you learned a tiny little bit. So that, I definitely have seen, you know, Monarchs with the, the speed red engine. Uh, they would just go special summon Terra Top, special summon Taka Tom Board. Bam, there's two tributes right there to uh, tribute summon. I haven't connected to my own summon. Tribute those two monsters to a Monarch. Yeah, so... I guess they're like, well, it can't be tributed. And so you generally you'd be like, so, but yeah, so you can't tribute your, these these monsters, the wind witches, from for uh for monarchs. Okay, okay. So you learned a little bit. You learned a little bit, but uh, can you still do some XC plays? Because that, that's the that's the thing that I'm really wondering about. Uh, next fact: you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. The turn you activate this effect, except for level five or higher, 
wind monsters and there it is so Konami learned Konami learned because that, that's clearly what she would have done it just be like alright I control a monster special summon this lady she'll special summon a wind witch special summon herself because it doesn't say I can't special summon you know another ice belt XC into Dante bam you know there, there we go you know you get rid of you hit terror top down to one I got another thing but nope nope so not only did they learn from you know the terror top shenanigans against attributing monsters but they also learned with the XC shenanigans so you can only if you if you special, use the fact you can only special summon monsters from extra deck that level five or higher win. So pretty much some synchro shenanigans, which is totally fine. That's pretty powerful. It's pretty powerful. The thing that I'm kind of like, hmm, interesting with is that the monster that we're going to be looking at next week. And just spoil it now. It's level one. So if you special summon this, and you, this will special summon you the level one tuner monster. You can't even you can't even synchro summon to a level four win monster. It has to be level five or higher. So you gotta do a little bit more. So you pretty much gotta conduct your normal summon to commit a little bit more to the play or you're really not doing anything else for the rest of the turn. So that's interesting that just special summoning this and then summoning the monster from the one which that you summon from the deck won't be enough to pull off a play. I and mean, you can't even go into Totem Bird. You can't even just go special summon this, just special summon another ice bell, two level three wind monsters, bam, there's Totem Bird. You can't even do that, so Interesting, interesting. So, and it's got one more effect, but this effect is kind of like, eh. So, uh, if this card is normal summon or special summon, you can inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Okay. Okay. Like I said, and the anime, she was kind of a burn lady. Like, this girl would burn, and her synchro monster that we'll be looking at next week, that burn. So, uh, in the end, she kind of just won the duel by tripping out uh, Yugo and burning him to death. Oops, well, alert. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that effect's kind of, eh, who cares? We're not, we're not here for that. So, uh, you can only use each effect of when which I spell once per turn. Okay, yeah, that's totally fair, because if that wasn't once per turn, that'd be kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, so, overall, not terrible. It's not terrible, especially the combo points that you can do on it. But, like I said, with all the restrictions she has, like, oh, this can't be contributed, and you have to go to level 5 wind monster, uh, you know, you can only go into level 5 wind monsters for the rest of the turn. Yeah. Uh, you, you're going to have to do something a little bit extra with the, with this uh, that card. And pretty much, you're only going to be able to, with the cards that have, splash and speed rates and do some combined plays. Because by itself, it's not too great standalone, but with combined, and it doesn't seem like you're really going to be able to combine with anything else. Just, But overall, not a terrible card. So, uh, there we go. There is the first one, which done. we got two more to look at as of now. Uh... And then we'll go ahead and you know, the puzzle will come together and you'll be like, okay, so that's what they're going to do. Now, uh, whether this deck will be meta, maybe, maybe, it really depends. But you, you'll, you'll see the stream, you'll see it. So tell me what you guys think about Wind Witch Ice Bell in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next week with some more card review. All right, people. Thanks for watching.